Just how powerful could this little guy be? Let's find out. Hello and welcome to Modern Broadcast. In today's video, we are diving deep into the world of wireless technology. We'll be exploring the capabilities of the NRF24 mini chip and how it can be used with the Flipper Zero to unlock a whole new world of possibilities. So whether you're a tech enthusiast, a DIY hobbyist, or just curious about wireless communications, this video is for you. So let's jump right in. First and foremost, let's talk about the star of today's show, and that is the NRF24 chipset. This teeny yet powerful piece of technology is a transceiver, meaning it can both transmit and receive radio frequency signals. It operates on the 2.4 gigahertz band, which is commonly used by devices like Wi-Fi routers, Bluetooth speakers, and honestly, even your microwave. What sets the NFR24 chip apart is its low power consumption and its ability to handle multiple data channels simultaneously. This makes it an ideal choice for applications like wireless communications between sensors, remote controls, small drones, and even your wireless keyboard and mouse, which we'll talk more about later. Before we dive into today's content, I want to take a moment to thank our sponsor for this video. PCBWay is a leading provider in high quality PCB or printed circuit board manufacturing and assembly services. Whether you're a professional engineer, a hobbyist, or a student working on a project, PCBWay offers a one-stop solution for all your PCB needs. With their state-of-the-art facilities and experienced team, PCBWay ensures that your PCBs are produced with precision and delivered on time. They offer a wide range of services including PCB prototyping, assembly, and even 3D printing. And the best part? Their user-friendly platform makes it easy to upload your design, choose your specifications, and get an instant quote today. So if you're looking for a reliable partner for your next electronics project, look no further than PCB Way. Check out the link in the description below to learn more about their services and how they can help bring your ideas to life. Thank you, PCB Way, for supporting our channel and the tech community. And remember, when it comes to electronics, a good PCB is like a good CRT. It's all about the connections, BB. Now let's introduce the co-star of today's episode, and that is the Flipper Zero. Now I have done a ton of videos uh, covering this device, uh, but for those of you that are new, this pocket-sized device is a hacker's dream come true. It's equipped with a variety of interfaces and sensors. The Flipper Zero also features RFID capabilities, infrared communications, and even a built-in radio receiver. It's honestly like a Swiss army knife for the digital world, allowing you to explore, test, and interact with a wide range of devices and systems. So what happens when you combine the NRF24 chip and the Flipper Zero? No, you may not get Voltron or the Megazord, but what you do get is a low-profile powerhouse that's great for wireless communication, exploration, and exploitation. Let's expand on that. So for ease of access, I'm going to showcase this on QFlipper. I have the Unleashed firmware, uh, so I have some built-in stuff, but we're going to go ahead and go to Applications, GPIO, and what we're going to be doing is something called Data Sniffing. Uh, so we're going to scroll on down here. This comes pre-built in with the Unleashed firmware, I think also with Extreme, uh, and maybe a couple other ones. But what we're going to do is we're going to scroll all the way down until we find NRF uh, 24 chips. And here we have the sniffer. And what sniffing is, is basically when we're sniffing, if that's a yes, it's looking for those wireless signals. It's looking to try to find the wireless mouse, the wireless keyboard. Um, and any wireless kind of signal that can get picked up by that um, NRF24 chip. Once it finds something, it will then log it, and we'll be able to replicate it and then exploit that with a bad USB. So here we are putting this into actual practice here. We're going to start sniffing. And uh, what I got to say is... 
any reputable company with wireless mouse and keyboards, they did a firmware update. So this isn't going to work with like Logitech and stuff like that. This is going to work for those that purchase mouse, uh, Meister keyboards with Timu, AliExpress, no name brands, things like that. So um, I was able to pick one up. As we see, it says now one found, one unique. And that is a wireless mouse that I'm using. So we're going to go ahead and scroll up to Mouse Jacker. Now, Mouse Jacker turns the dongle for the wireless mouse into a bad USB. So your target will have no idea what's going on. You'll start executing these payloads. We need to go ahead and push OK. We're going to push the back button. We're going to scroll down to bad USB. Find one that we want to run. And then extract our payload. And, you know, they're just going to think it's their mouse keyboard. They're, no one's going to have any idea what's going on. So let's go ahead and run the Mona Lisa. And as we see here, it's now working just as if my uh, Flipper Zero is plugged into my computer. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please consider leaving a like and subscribe. This little chipset is so dangerous. Uh, going to a coffee shop, going to a, a public area, a library, wherever people have their laptops with these wireless mice and keyboards, you know, buy reputable brands, make sure, you know, protect yourself. Um, yeah, let me know in the comment section down below what you think. Have a great week, everyone, and take care.